Alright, hello YouTube, this is the Demon Turtle. Today I'm going to be doing a Doom Builder tutorial, uh, creating your first map, or really just creating your first room, uh, first sectors, or whatever. Uh, one second, let me just turn this down a bit. Okay. So basically, first thing you're going to want to do when you install Doom Builder, uh, I'll make an installation video later, but um, you go to Tools, and you hit Game Configurations. Now, depending on if you're making a Doom 2 map or Doom map, you need to set up the Doom.wad or Doom2.wad. So, uh, for example, let's say I'm making a Doom 2 map. You click Doom 2, you go over here, hold on, let me remove this really quick, and you would hit Add Resource. Uh, and then it asks you for uh, your, wa your WAD file resource, so you click this, drop down menu, well, yeah, your browse menu. And so uh, you look through all your files until you find it. If you don't know where it's at, uh, it's in your program files, and you have to uh, find Doom 2, and it should be there in Doom 2. You should find a file called Doom2.wad. Here, I'll just show you an example really quick. So, um, you go to your local disk or OS or whatever. It's probably in this program files if you have two of them. And then just scroll down until you see Doom 2. Oh. Okay, I may have, uh,. Uninstalled Doom 2 actually after I took the file. Hold on one second. Let me check this program files really quick. Yeah, it's right here. So it's in my other program files. And you have Doom 2 for Windows 95. And I took the WAD file out, but it should say like Doom 2.wad and you'd select that. So uh, hold on, let me select mine really quick. I just have to go through uh, my libraries. There it is. Okay, so this is Doom2.wad. So then you should have the uh, thing right here. And you just hit OK. And then next you can go to Node Builder. Uh, you don't need to adjust any of this. I suggest you don't for now. Uh, then you can scroll over to Testing. And you probably need uh, you probably need to download ZDoom or GZDoom. I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description for both of these programs. I suggest ZDoom just because it's easier to set up. Uh, just my personal preference. But you can also do GZDoom if you want to. Uh, so then obviously you just find the EXE for that and put it there. Okay, and then you don't need to mess with either of these either. So now that you have Doom 2 configured, hit OK. Or Doom configured. Okay, now you hit File, hit New Map. And on our game configuration, choose the one that you just configured, so Doom 2 for me. And then, so right here, you type in your map name. So it would be Map 01, Map 02, 3, all the way through 32. Uh, 31 and 30, or sorry, yeah, Map 31 and 32 are both secret levels. So you might not want to mess with those for now. But, so basically, yeah, type in Map 01. And you'll see that your uh, Doom2.wad has been found, so you hit OK. And down you'll see, you'll see a grid area. This is basically your 2D mode, or your regular edit mode for uh, Doom Builder. So basically up here you have all your tools. Uh, select the line depths mode, or press L. Find a nice place and right click. Now you'll notice you created a vertice. By the way, your line will not be green. Uh, that's my own preferences. So then uh, go and left click in another spot. Move it again. Left click. Left click. And left click. And we made a square. And you'll notice it got filled in with a uh, floor texture. If you're using Doom Builder 1, it'll just be black. Uh, this is Doom Builder 2. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. So now... um. You can go to Things Mode or press T up here, and then you right-click to put down a thing. So I just put down a Player 1 Start, and you can select his angle, so he's going to be facing down. Uh, this is the difficulty. Don't have to worry about that just yet. And so now hit OK, and you'll notice the Player Start is now right there. I can, If I hold right-click, I can move him around, and then just let go, obviously. And see how he's selected now? Uh, he's selected because we just dragged him around. Just press C to clear that selection. So you drag him around, now he's selected, press C. Okay, 
So now I'll go back into your line depth mode, and we're going to make a second square inside of this one. Right here. So right click to start, left click, left click, left click, left click. There we go. Now we have a second sector, because if you go to sectors mode, you can highlight this sector and this sector. It's hard to tell the difference because the lines are selected anyway. But there, we have two different sectors. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is press W. This will bring you into 3D mode. In 3D mode, you use ESDF to move. Essentially, it's just WASD, but one to the right. So you can move around, look up and down, whatnot, and you see your player there. If you don't see him, press T until he appears. Um, so now, you'll see that we have both of our separate sectors that we drew. So what you can do is select the sector, click on it with left click, and you'll notice it gets highlighted. Now if you scroll up and down, you can move it up and down. So move it one up from the two up from the normal position and press C to clear your selection. Now you'll see that this is untextured here. Here, let me scroll it up a little bit more. The exclamation point ah, exclamation points means that it's untextured. Um so we'll leave it there. And now right click on the part that's untextured. And you'll want to go to side defs and lower because if you see here this is the untextured sign once again so that's where it's untextured so click that with left click and now you want to give it a texture since it's a small step I'm gonna go into the steps textures which are over here and give it a texture like this one so just double click on step one and hit OK and now you notice this has a texture but the rest of this doesn't a quick way to do that is to press control C on this texture and then click in the mouse wheel to paste it. Now they all have uh, textures. Okay, so another thing is we might want to change the uh, floor texture here. So right click on the floor and you'll see we have the uh, ceiling and floor textures for this sector. So click the floor texture and of course we could give it something like this but just so you know, you cannot change the offset of floor textures. I'll explain this more in later tutorials. So these won't work too well. Uh, you'll see why if you try to do it. Here, I'll just explain it to you really quick. Okay. So, X out of... Uh, well, you don't have to. I'll just explain this. So you press Q... Or, sorry. You press W to X out of 3D mode. But uh, now that I'm back in my 2D editor, I'll show you. I'm just going to move this sector. You basically have to uh, go into sectors mode and then go into the sector and right click and move it. So I'm going to move it over here. And if you notice, it's in these blue lines perfectly. See how it's right in between these blue lines? The, uh, the blue lines creates a square like that. I'm going to delete that just so you know. But Okay, so it's in these blue lines. Now I'm going to draw one that's not in the blue lines right here. So now, if I go back into my 3D mode, and I'm just going to raise this really quick, and I'm going to copy and paste these textures all around. Okay, so this one is the one that's in the lines. This is the one that's outside of the lines. The one that's in the lines, I can go ahead and give it this texture, and it'll be perfectly fine. Actually, I'm going to give it uh, this one. Now, if I try to give this texture here, it's screwed up because it's not within the blue lines. You could you could give it uh, this one and it'd be fine though. So it really just depends. But uh, sorry if that's confusing. I'll try to explain it more in later tutorials. I'm just gonna undo all this. All right, I'm gonna move this sector back. Sorry for all of the confusion, but yeah. So uh, basically give this floor a texture of whatever you want. I kind of like this here. So there. Now we have two sectors. Another thing you can do is select a sector with left click, hold control, and then scroll up and down. You can change the brightness of the sector. So we'll dim this sector a little bit so that the middle sector is bright and you're kind of gravitated towards it. So now uh, press W to exit out of your uh, 3D mode. 
and go back to things mode, click things, and then right click where you want to put one down. We're going to put one in the middle of this sector here. So now X out of player starts with the little minus sign up here. Go to weapons and add a shotgun. And then it doesn't matter what angle the shotgun's facing because it's always facing wherever you are. So we'll just face it down. And now we have a shotgun in that sector. And if you went back into 3D mode, you don't have to. You'll see it here. Alright, now lastly, we're going to create an enemy over here. So X out of weapon. Oh, sorry. Um, go into things mode again and then right click. And then so uh, hit the little minus on the weapons, hit the plus on the monsters and you can scroll through the monsters. We're gonna do a weak one because obviously all you have is a shotgun. So here's a former human and we're facing him down away from the player so he's not awake right away. And now actually we're gonna create another enemy over here. Now so right click again and this enemy is gonna be on hard only so X out easy and medium. Alright so now if we uh, go into our 3D mode again you see all of the monsters so now we're just gonna test out our level and I'll basically show you this is it on easy so you'll only see one monster so here's our room as you can see this sector is slightly darker than the middle sector you grab the shotgun and let's wake this guy up and there we go basically it's your first room now we're just gonna restart the level and play it on ultra violence and you'll see now we have two monsters. So now it's more of a challenge because it's on a harder difficulty. So basically there you go, your first room is complete and you probably feel successful in life. You better feel successful. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, or click one of these beautiful arrows. to be